Hello everybody, it's Tim here again, here with another review, this time for Chucky Season 2, Episode 3. Now, I'll say this, this is not as good as Episode 2, I'd give it a 3 out of 4. This is a solid good episode. The teen actors in this are good. The, ch the new chick in the show, who's like this little curly-haired chick or whatever... Really, if they didn't already show who the actress was that's playing Glenn and Glenda, they could have uh, kept this character as, like, maybe she is Glenda, you know, or something like that in the show or whatever. They could have played up on that. But since we already know she can't be Glenn and Glenda because they already announced who the actors are, then we know that's not, that's not who she is. But I will say this character seems kind of awkward and weird on purpose to the point where I, I suppose they're trying to play her up in the show to where you can't... You can't exactly trust her or not. She seems to have like a... She seems really like Lexi, but almost to the Lexi character who is like trying... Seems like she's trying to start to like uh, want to give up drugs in this episode, which I thought was kind of cool. But it almost seems like this little curly-haired chick starting to develop maybe like an unhealthy obsession with the Lexi character. And that may be like the, the route this episode or the future episodes end up going on. I don't see this character living past the end of this season. I think that she is going to die by the end of this season. I just There's just something about her where she seems so awkward. I feel like she's going to like betray the group in order to like keep Lexi for herself or something. It just seems like she's developing this weird obsession with her because of like some kind of mental problem she has or whatever. But overall, though, I thought this was a good episode. You got Chucky here, and they do a reference to, like, Clockwork Orange, and they get Chucky and put him in this chair and try to brainwash him into being good by showing him so much violence that it just uh, makes him sick of it and makes him turn good. Not so much that makes him turn good. Chucky really doesn't turn good. He just gets brainwashed into being good. Yeah, just, like, beaten in the head so much, basically, until he just ab ab abhors violence and just doesn't want to be around anything violent. I get the idea. It kind of works at the same time, though. It is a little suspicious because they play it up to where, like, you don't really know if he's turned good or not. And this other Chucky shows up, which, that like, kind of defeats the purpose because it's, uh, we see another package arrive and the other Chucky shows up. And it's clearly him that's killing people. We, we know it isn't going to be the good one because that's too obvious. So, uh, it would have been better if they didn't show that there was another Chucky and they surprised us at the, end, at the end with the fact that there is two Chuckies. That would have been still kind of predictable, but it would have been more surprising if they didn't show the package being delivered. What I do like uh, is the fact that new Chucky who shows up is, like, extremely buff and he has, like, an eight-pack of abs and he's like, never skip arm day. I don't normally eat cream puffs, but cream puffs, but today I'll make an exception or whatever he said, talking about good Chucky. He's gonna, like, beat him to death or whatever. That was pretty damn funny. <laughs> I will say it is silly having a Chucky with like an eight pack of abs. It is silly and it doesn't really make logical sense that this specific Chucky decided to like start working out and become buff. It is pretty ridiculous, but it was funny. It was it was funny. I laughed. I can go with a little some ridiculousness if you entertain me and I was able to laugh. So I had a good time with it. Overall, three out of four, a good episode. Not a great episode, not as good as uh, the last episode, episode two, but this was a good one. Where they're going to go with like good Chucky or whatever. Maybe he, maybe they'll, the the evil ones will like try to brainwash him back or whatever, or get the brainwashing out of him so he'll turn back to his old self. And or maybe he will stay good and he'll end up like sacrificing himself to like protect Devin and the other kids or whatever. Maybe that's where it'll go. I mean, you could stretch this good Chucky concept out to the end of the season if you wanted and have him like sacrifice himself to like stop the evil ones or whatever to protect the kids. You could do something like that. Uh, but I'm not exactly sure what they will. It might just be like a one note gag for like the beginning of next episode or whatever, and he'll end up getting killed by the buff Chucky. It's a, who knows. We still don't know what Chucky's plan is or why he's taking pictures of these kids and what he ultimately ultimately plans on doing with them. The the bully or whatever who's like the other guy in the the school, the Catholic school is like trying to bully uh Lexi or whatever who and he used to used to bully her. He gets killed by the buff Chucky. He gets like his heart punched out, which I wasn't expecting his death. That was kind of a surprise, but it was a cool death. Even though it is silly that Chucky's like so buff and strong now, he's able to like punch a hole directly through a human body. That is pretty ridiculous. But at the same time. It's fun. It's fun for the ridiculousness of it. It's still funny. Like the different Chucky's having like different personalities is something I brought up, I believe, when I actually like reviewed Cold of Chucky back in the day, or even like maybe the first season of the TV series or something I was talking about. It would be cool if like the different Chucky's had like different personalities and all that. And finally, they're kind of doing something like that now in this season. And maybe that'd be something that carries on to the end of the season. But yeah, overall, three out of four good episode, good, fine episode. I liked it. Um, nothing to write home about or to be mind blowing or anything, but a good episode. Uh, the teen drama and stuff is still a little, eh, not really needed. But they would just show it would be fine if it just focused on Chucky. But they're trying to play to, like, a youth audience. I get it. And it works fine. Overall, three out of four. Good, solid episode. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you again.